Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Realms of Magic 1.0. It came out uh, on Wednesday, and ooh, there's some races that I can mess around with. So we can be human, wild elf, high elf, dark elf, orc, dwarf, goblin, gnome. So do we actually... Oh, we do have racial abilities that I should pay attention to. The old kingdom is in danger, and the king is nowhere to be seen. Chaos and murder reign in his stead, and while leaderless, all realms fell into despair. In the east, mutual enmity between humans and elves sets roots. Northern shores are swarming with invaders from beyond the sea. In the south, orcs cast aside the long truce and ran rampage across the lands. But the worst is yet to come. It's time for a hero like never before. Okay. I look amazing. Let's see. I forget how to... Okay, so interact with E. Simple people lead simple lives. I see a chest down there. Hello. I hate this place. Do you need any help? You won't find any work here, Outlander. Better go where you came from. Wow, you suck. I hate you and I'm now going to do what I can to rob you of all of your worldly belongings. Can I sleep in your bed? Yes, I can just sleep in this man's bed. Alright. Was that Geralt fighting a Cyclops? Might have been. As you see, I'm on duty. Talk to someone else. Let's see. Can I check my inventory? Bag. Nothing. I'm curious what number one is. Probably should play the tutorial, but whatever. Do you have a job for me? I don't know how to make ends meet. Uh, let's see. Perhaps I could help you somehow. Make this place busy again. I need at least one gold. The inn's, uh, the inn's roof and walls need to be repaired, and the floor should be repainted. Also, other expenses. Uh, let's see. It'll be hard to get one gold, but I have another idea. I'll get you the materials you require. Okay. I won't have time to fix it. Someone has to run the inn. Uh, otherwise, I can insult him. Okay, I'll get you the gold, too. Uh, let's see. So I want to trade. Unfortunately, I have no money, so I can't really buy or sell anything, which makes me a little worried. Oh, hi? To Marcus, usable book. Oh. Oh, did I? I did actually get some money. Okay, cool. So we we can check these. And some of them will have stuff in them. I guess I might as well talk to her. I want to earn some coins. Okay. Ronald, local lumberjack. Might need an extra hand. Okay. See tears in your eyes. Do you need any help? Okay, lost my gown somewhere. Uh, and you want me to find it? That'd be nice. It's my husband's favorite dress. Oswald would be distraught, distraught when he finds out I've lost it. Uh, let's see. This is really weird. Like, there's a lot of dialogue for a side quest, and I, I'm i afraid that my character is just going to start hitting on people if I if I just start blazing through dialogue too quick. Well, I can cook rat on a stick. So if you haven't seen this game before, I played it a couple years ago and rather liked it. It seems like this is a, uh, well, I mean, it's come a long way since. Good, I'm not getting in trouble for just taking anything that isn't nailed down. That seems to be my the easiest way for me to make any kind of progress here. Just got a random cooked chicken. They just grab everything. Nobody will stop you. Nobody can stop you. Hi, ah, wardrobe. There's a spinning wheel. I can make some burlap cloth. Not that it's going to make too much of a difference. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what I, what was I even going to say as part of this? I don't know. There's, a, there's also all sorts of ways I can describe this, but effectively HD Terraria with a little bit more focus on, like, RPG gameplay uh, and leveling and whatnot. Mayor! Urgent matters to attend. Mayor's wife! What should I wear? I have nothing new to clothe myself. Well, considering I'm a complete ragamuffin, I don't think I have any kind of input on that matter. 
Okay, looking for work. Oh yeah, these people really are just kind of living in the dumps. Oh right, you can also sprint. Let's see. Anything else for me to rob here? It's fine. The community will be better off uh, for my activities here. So let's flit the apprentice. Care not. Oh, yep. There's some. 32 coins. I really have, have just immediately devolved into petty, petty thievery. Let's go back up for a hot second. But yeah, it definitely, it definitely does give off like starbound vibes and a couple other things. Uh, I don't know... Where the heck is... Roland? I have no idea. Okay, what can I even make? I have materials. So I can make a trellis, a pine torch, or a traveling torch. We're gonna make a traveling torch. And I'm assuming I don't have the resources for any of the rest of this. Yep. No, nope, we'll have to leave that for later. Okay, maybe he's out here. Well, I think that was a hoe. We've got an apple. We have Glug the village idiot. Have no fear, Glug is here. I need work. Work? Why work when you can drink and watch others work? Work is for stupid. I think the same, but I need to make a living somehow. Hmm, Glug may have work for you. Glug will be very happy if you bring him a gown. Why would you need it? I need Moriana's gown. She's so lovely and her skin smells like honey. Moriana hates Glug, but Glug wants to have a piece of Moriana for himself. Oh, gosh. No, thank you. Thinking hurts. It's for, for the stupid. Come back to Glug when you want to help him. Bye. Cripes. Dude just wants me to steal her... Ugh. Uh, all right. Oh wow, this place looks like it's seen better days. The heck is this? I I don't know, but it seems like we've kind of engaged in the. We found the little medieval torture room. What do we got up here? Oh, signpost activated, so I can actually just travel. Oh, okay. So this Delron? Nope. Maybe it's this guy over here. Kale? No. All orders, live another day, Reast. I thought there was a lumberjack that had missions for me, but I guess I've missed it. Maybe he's down here. Parl. Nope. Keep a watchful eye on me, eh, you say? I just rob his, uh, <laughs> rob his fellows. Glass bottle with a bottle of water. This, okay, here's the money thing. Diary of Hans Belrun part two. Oh, it's not worth anything. I mean, it's fine. We're still, we're still slowly scaling up. Eventually, I'll be able to afford things. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Three people that need gowns. Who's the third person? And is it me? <laughs> okay, this looks to be the dude. Welcome, stranger. Good day, Ronald. I'm helping Mariana find her gown. Down, what makes you think I know something about it? Uh, she told me about you two, it's fine. I'm here to help you two. Alright, I guess I can believe you. Her dress should be around here somewhere. Just look carefully, good luck. You seem troubled. Uh, let's see, won't make the order in time. What order? Got an order from the Old Kingdom Army for a huge amount of pine wood. There's no way I'll make it on time. Uh, why don't... Why do you worry so much about delivering it on time? The army doesn't tolerate such disobedience. I get flogged or worse. My life doesn't matter much for them. Maybe I could help? <laughs> like, so much of the dialogue is like, looks like you're screwed then. And it's just like, wow, give me 25 pine wood. Sure. Good. So, get done work and let me know when you got the wood. I'll be here. Uh, train me in woodcutting. Uh, do we even have that money? How much money do I have? I have just enough if I want to train for woodcutting, but I I don't even... Can I punch tree? Because, yeah, if I don't have a... If I don't have a... Okay, I need some stone. If I can't even get some stone to make a hatchet, how the heck am I going to cut down a tree? 
I might have enough money to go buy a stone or something. We'll see. That's a creepy little room down there. And maybe, maybe I'm not as hard up as I think I am and maybe I'll be able to, uh, immediately get the resources I need, but I don't even have like a pickaxe or anything. Maybe this is why I'm supposed to do the, uh, tutorial. Hello! Dude down here is loaded. Who are you? Oh, it's the miner. You seem troubled. I want to enlarge my mine. In the beginning it was all fine, but after some time I discovered that the new quarters are swarming with rats. Where'd they come from? Okay, that's horrible. Rats are disgusting. Okay, it's impossible to work when the squeaks surround you. I need to find a way to get rid of them. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I think you need to face them. Once you start killing, they should scurry away. Oh, go down there for the whole uh, for the whole gold in the world. If you're so brave, could you eliminate the rats for me? The vermin will suffer. You have my word. Thank you so much. The rats were driving me crazy. Take these healing potions. Okay. So the main problem is I'm still not wearing anything and I have no weapon. I don't think I can punch. I guess I got some random junk, but nothing nothing weapon oriented. So I think if I go like try and punch a rat, I'm probably going to just get wrecked. Okay, that's the apprentice. These are all the trainers. I wonder what's your favorite food? Curry. Any kind. Japanese? Indian? Uh... Okay, seeking work. Let's see, you don't look very well. Okay. Must have caught a sickness on the way. I'll be fine in a few days. Where have you been? I... So, need to deliver all these items so I don't feel fit for the task. What do you need? Okay, what to do? Goods that need to be delivered really quickly. My condition does not allow me to do it myself. Several uh, things to several people in Woodbury. Sure? Okay, Tin Candelabra to Kaya, Bear Trophy to Parl, Elixir of Woodcutting to Renald, and Ten Wool to Ron. Come back when you're done. Let's also trade with him. Ah! Okay. So he actually has everything we need. Wait, no, we don't need the tin hoe. We need the stone hatchet. We need the stone pickaxe. There is also a tin axe, but I think it's too expensive for me. Yes. I wonder if I can use the axe. the stone axe over anything else. What else do we have? Because there's also like a burlap bag if I want to expand my inventory space. A smidge. Pine shield. Might be too expensive, but the reinforced pine shield. Hmm. I could get the reinforced, or I could get the pine shield, but it's a little too pricey for me. And what about the burlap bag? And the light fur bag. Okay, snag those. We also have a bunch of these random things. However, I can put up like the scroll. That's the stuff he gave me to trade, so I don't really want to get rid of that. You will pay that much. Should be fine. All right, now I got some basic weaponry. Let's see. How do I... There we go. So weapons. Oh, I do have a pine shield and an axe, and I already have the tools. Well, shoot. Oh, is this a tin hoe? Okay, stone hatchet, stone pickaxe. So we actually don't have a hoe at all. Well, at least the bags were worth it. Uh, but yeah, that was a bit of a wash financially. Oh well, it's fine. At least I have some weapons. I just need to figure out how to actually turn on combat mode. Controls, here we go. Toggle walk, interact, switch mode is R. Equip torch is Z. Loot all is F. Skills, slots, some other th things. 
Okay, so once again, mode is R, torch is Z. There we go. That's how I get into combat mode. Still don't actually know how to grab like my tools. So that's torch. Yeah, note to self, poke at the, poke at the UI a little bit more in the future. Oh, right. And journal wise. Uh, how do we go back? What is A? Active quests, completed quests. Got it. So, Ron's Wool, R Kaya's Tin Candelabra, Renald. I guess I'll just have to look out for these people. And we'll find them as we go. But first, let's go deal with those rats. Oh, good. There's no falling damage. Okay, nothing for Jeremy. Switch back to combat mode, and let's go punch some rats. Because I've got 12 healing potions. Oh. Okay, so here's where we get the stone. I might as well grab the coal while we're down here. I don't know if we're necessarily going to need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. And yeah, last time I played this, I went with more of a magic system. This time, it's going to be all melee high armor, and uh, a lot of fighting. I found a secret. It's true. Let's see, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. The only immediate problem is I'm going to have to wait for my stamina to come back. I wonder if I can get a spear. Because it'd be pretty funny to... It'd be pretty funny to just kite things around with just murder pokes. Okay, did take a hit. Oh, but it does look like I regen naturally. Boy, my whole stamina situation here is dire. Okay. But the rest of me is doing fine. Uh, oh no, here's the other rat. For a second I thought they died simultaneously and I was not going to be able to loot the other one. But we're fine. Uh, let's see, this looks, this looks diggable. Can I not? Oh, yeah. I can't dig half of this stuff. Mr. Miner, you didn't say the rats, rats were the size of dogs. He did actually imply that they were huge. Ooh. I think that might have actually been a better pickaxe. We also have a scroll of tanning. 500 EXP in, in tanning. And weaving. All right. There we go. I guess it doesn't matter too much if I take damage. If I heal naturally over time. Okay, killed all the rats in the mine. Got a lot of resources. Okay, then back to mining. Might as well grab some tin ore while we're here. And look around a little bit. See if we find anything else of interest. Okay. That's a good evening wonder. Oh boy, that really makes me feel like I'm I'm recording at an odd time. Uh, but yeah, how are things? Well, I'm doing good. I got a I got a whole tableau of like cool looking games that I have yet to try. I, I'm kind of I mean I don't know. Always excited to check out. It's weird. I was really burnt out the last couple of years. And now I'm like yeah, there's stuff to do. I have kind of sense and direction. Problem is, it's like stupid hot out, so it's kind of putting a, a, a bit of a dampener on things. But is what it is. What's up, Jeremy? All rats are dead. That's terrific. I knew you'd be a good fit for the job. And now I can get to work. Please accept this as a reward. It seems to be magical. Hope it's not dangerous. Okay, the rats are dead, but I have bad news. Okay, I see. They destroyed my tools. Oh. 
I've seen what they did to my tools. The cursed vermin can chew through almost anything. It seems like I need your help. What can I do for you? Keep up with work and need a new set of tools. Can you get me some? Okay, what do you need? Copper pickaxe, copper shovel from Hardwin. Okay. And we get some other stuff. I'll take it. Did I level up or no? Might have. Holy smokes. This is a talent tree. So we have heavy weapons, light weapons, combat in general. Uh, and then fire magic, ice magic, nature magic. And then necromancy. Huh. This does beg the question of whether or not I should respec as a wizard. I don't think so. Not for today. Okay, that's... Oh, daggers and spears. I think for now I'm going to stick to melee. Magic definitely seems pretty cool. I wish there were talents for, like, mining and stuff. But, eh, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe it doesn't matter that much. Okay, so that's stabbing. What about spear stuff? You can, you can go down spears. Spears, swords, axes, and hammers. It looks like. Trying to decide which weapon do I want. Vegeta needs fireball. I mean, the other option is I straight up could actually just... I could actually just be a dwarf wizard. I don't need to be a dwarf melee guy. You know, the ice barrier actually seems not bad. What else do we have? Stone skin. Let's see, 40 armor for 60 seconds. Cost 20, 25 mana. Let's see, duration up to 100 seconds. Armor value up to 100. Ooh. Regenerate. So there is actually some music. Uh, there is actually some healing if I want to go that direction. What else do we have? Uh, let's see. Increases summon damage. Summons a mole rat. Rat bites for damage. And also summon a boar. Okay, so we have a poke and a bonk. And cast a pole. I mean, the main question is, ooh. No, I think I'm going to go Spears. Reason being, uh, Heaven's Wrath. Activate an aura consuming 10 stamina per second. Every hit calls down a Holy Spear, dealing damage based on weapon damage after 10 seconds. Every hit, second hit makes the damage instant. That seems pretty fun. Or not. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So, next quest is... Gotta find a dude named Ron. Ron, Parl, Ronald, and Kaya. I think I saw Parl the other direction. Okay, here's Kaya. Okay. Let's see. So we've, we're done with that. So now we need... Oh, what's Renald's elixir? Oh, elixir to Renald. Oh, but wait, no. We know where that is. So Ron, Parl, and Renald. That's Lordian, so no dice. But yeah, Orbital Strike is my hope. Okay, are any of you... Who I'm looking for? Moriana. Turk Blint. Is his name Blint? I read it as Blunt, and I was like, wow. Okay. Runa, Ron. Okay, have your wolf. Uh, let's see, winter is coming. Cool, but doesn't matter. Boy, I can't wait until I get some real clothes. Honestly, if I get that gown, I might just wear it for a while. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's weird. Wait, is this something I can mine? No, it's not. Okay. Armor is armor. Yeah. It's like here. I brought your um I I brought your gown back. Uh why is it stretched out and why are you wearing it? Uh don't worry about it. Okay, so I think one of these guys was Parl. I think it's this dude down here or something. Yep, Parl. Oops, that's a bed. Okay, bear trophy. Uh, let's see. So old Edbert uh Edbert can't deliver his packages on his own. Well, we were waiting for, we were waiting for too long. He's unwell. Do you like the trophy? I never like things like this. Ordered for my Captain Kale. It's his birthday gift. Is he in charge here? Keeps the Ren Shackle place together. It's a pity this rabble living here doesn't appreciate what he's doing to keep them safe. They only plot against him all the time. Cowards. Wow. I like the fact that I straight up can just back up at full speed, more or less. Okay. Here's the elixir. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Look carefully. Oh, it's up top. Hey, call. So here's the here's the big question. Can I wear the gown? Please tell Yes. <laughs> oh. That is a sneaky little treasure chest. Oh, I think there's another sneaky treasure chest right at the beginning of town, so I should go check that real quick. Maybe. Alright. Uh, can I dig out the saw and get some lumber? No, I, I don't think I need to do that. Improve stamina. Permanently increases stamina by five. Holy smokes, that's actually really good. Uh, let's see. Leather working bonus and then hunter gloves are better than yep. So it actually looks like uh health regen bonus, stamina regen bonus, physical damage and attack speed. Yeah, so it looks like there are serious bonuses based from based on your equipment for various like stat gains and stuff. I was really worried that uh stamina regen was always gonna be kind of trashy. But it looks like we're fine. Okay. I've delivered all the items. You did great. Now tell me what you'd like for your reward. Healing potion, healing potion. Thank you. I guess you travel a lot. Could you tell me something about the other settlements? Okay. I don't really care too much about like any of these, but just in case there's like a quest or something that pops up. I do appreciate the level of detail that goes into this. It's just that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. I do really wish you could run at full speed in combat locations. Hmm. Okay. This might be a bit of a goose chase to get to that chest. It can't be this far away, can it? No way. May maybe? I didn't see any diggable ground. But I also wasn't clicking particularly hard. If I go over here, does it look like I can continue to the left at all? No. So unless there's an area... Unless there's an area at the like very bottom of this, and I don't think they're, it doubled back to the left. Okay, floor in the basement of the first house. Oh, shoot. 
I don't want to have to quaff stamina potions just to run through here. I, I wish uh, in non-combat situations, sprinting cost you nothing. But, is what it is. Oh boy. Yeah, I must have missed the dirt. You are correct. Oh yeah, I totally did just miss this dirt here. Oops. I like the mining animations. It's really quite flaily in the best possible way. Ooh. What the heck are these? Jester boots. Not actually that good. But we got nature mastery, which increases our summon uh our summon damage by a bit. Okay, now can I just walk out the edge? No, we have to we have to find the uh The signpost, and I don't see any around here, so I th think we have to go all the way back to the forts. Oh, wait, no, here's one right here. Good, good, good. Okay, so where do we want to travel? We can go to the underground hideout, or we can go to the rat pit. I'm gonna go to the rat pit. That seems easier. I could be wrong. Okay, next order of business. Can I can I cut down tree? Because I know I'm supposed to be getting pine lumber. I do have, like, a hatchet, yeah? Hmm. Unsure. I might want to just get a basic spell. Just to give me something to do. When my stamina is low. Because if I can alternate between a little bit of magic and a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of magic and then, you know, basic melee combat. I think I'll be much more dangerous. Honestly, I might actually invest into summoning more than anything else. Can I break any of those? No. Ow, 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 wow. Okay. There we go. I guess spears might not be as cool as I think they are. Let's see. And I can't mine any of this out. Because it's an explorable area. Huh. That's interesting. Honestly, it's fine. I'm so used to being able to just sandbox destroy everything in my path. But that's clearly not the case in this one. Well, I guess I'm down here now. I don't have to be, it looks like. Okay, we're good. Snag these. Bounce up. I wonder if I can craft, like, a platform. Oops. Hold up. Aha! Oh, jumping does cost stamina. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, what else am I going to do? I'm just gonna wait. So is this game not Terraria? Uh, I mean, if you're saying, like, Terraria but not, then yes. But it is not Terraria. So I guess no matter what, I guess I have to qualify that with a, a yes, it is not Terraria. It's more kind of like, uh, honestly, it actually reminds me of old school roguelikes. I'm, I'm thinking like Caves of Cud or um, Tales of Majayal, where you're just kind of going out into the world and adventuring. I guess maybe more like Ultima, but as a, uh, as a sandbox, you know, mining, crafting, adventuring RPG. It's a weird mix, but that doesn't necessarily make it, uh, a bad one. Okay. 
There we go. We got another giant rat. Boy, I got a while before my next level. Dang. Let's see. How is it different? I don't know. That's what I'm here to find out. Wow. Rude. Okay, so what can I do? The handcrafting. Pine planks? But I need pine wood. I have none. Yeah, because we need some pine planks to make a platform. Unless I can, like, destroy any of these. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm just going to continue... Continue to kite the rats. Because they don't take that much damage and I've got plenty of self heals. But it's not so bad. So this is going to be a full series or are you just trying it out? Uh, mostly just me trying it out. I don't know. Like the thing is I don't really do much for series on YouTube anymore. Uh, to be honest. I just... The way the games industry has changed hasn't really let me do that. Okay, got anything here? No. I'm so glad there's no falling damage. That would have been my shins. There we go. Doesn't look like there's anything up here. I need to be able to make a platform. But it won't let me cut any of these trees. I guess let's go back down to the bottom of this. It says after releasing 15 Neckersmith videos. It's true. Uh, there are there are always going to be exceptions. Ooh, that looks like a stinky critter. What the hell is... Oh, it's the mole rat. That is a bad time to autosave. Okay. And do I have anything that'll help me here? Mysterious Essence. Potion of Knowledge. Oh. With power... Mysterious Essences with powerful essences. Uh, to get a permanent talent point. HP buff quality. Minor mana potion. Nah, it doesn't look like I have anything... to do with any of these. Okay. These enemies are a little plungy. Yeah, did I ever learn wood cutting? So you don't have to learn wood cutting from what I I can tell. It just levels it up. Oh, dude's hungry. Did we just eat three chicken? Or did we only have one chicken? I have no idea. Okay. Whew. These guys hurt. And what else do we have? We do actually have more money though, which is kind of a, a plus. Okay, sort that. Take a look at some of these. You just ate three chickens, yes. I That's concerning. Uh, let's see, maybe you should heal up. That's what I'm doing. I could I could drink a potion. Or I could just wait for my natural regen to take care of it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we do actually have different skills. So, you're automatically trained in woodcutting. But, um... It improves as you go along. So, like, my mining started at level 1 and now it's up to level 6. There's actually a lot here. Alright. Found a secret, they say. Yeah, here's the problem. This mole rat is tanky. Scroll of milling. We get some shoulder pads. 
I don't think they're actually any better. Okay, still don't want to die. I guess I'll drink a healing potion, otherwise I'm just going to be sitting and waiting forever. And that doesn't sound that pleasant. Okay, because I can 100% kill this thing. Okay. It actually seems like blocking with a shield is pretty viable. Sort of, except for then I run out of stamina and it's not so great. So how did the game's industry change? Uh, I mean, frankly, mostly when it comes down to it is just sheer volume. Uh, that, you know, five or six years ago, there were only a handful of games that even were, like, coming out that were new or noteworthy or even worth playing, if that makes sense. Uh, and so most of the time when it came down to it, uh, from, like, a full series perspective, I could just, uh, play practically anything new that comes out. My stamina regen is so low. Let's see. But it was actually just going to outheal me. That's rude. Um Looks like there's a mineable spot here for whatever reason. It looks like it's just stone. Nothing fancy. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to grab some more. Okay, what about here? No, doesn't look like it's mineable. And maybe it's mineable after a full clear. I we just we just fully cleared this place though, and nothing popped up. So don't think so. I could be wrong. Okay, so big issue is, I gotta figure out how to go get some wood. I think we might want to just go to one of the random... Oh yeah, you can't sprint backwards, which is probably what keeps messing me up. Ooh. This is mineable. You can tell. Anyway, so, uh... You know, a couple of years ago, like game would come out or come out in early access or whatever and I could just like uh, dive in on it and play a bunch and do a full series. Uh, so we got some fire resist and a skill. Probably should have been paying attention to that but whatever. Let's see. Uh, but nowadays it's like it's seven new games a week or something like that and many of them are actually pretty good. And it's kind of created this problem, for me at least, where I want to do, I like, I want to play longer on certain games, but um, there's too many other ones for me to to try. The heck, how do we get out of here? I'm well fed. Journal, map. Maybe I can just pull up the map at this point and just travel. So what if I just go sandbox forest? But yeah, so the over uh, oversaturation of it has made it kind of difficult for me to Okay, now I can cut down trees. I love that lumberjack animation. Well, should have thought about that. Cuz whatever wood that tree dropped is off map and I cannot get to it. it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Anyway, so uh, what this means to some degree is that people aren't as interested in uh, singular new releases and also just kind of the YouTubing side of things. It is more oversaturated as well. So it was kind of difficult for me to just do like full series on games because when it came down to it... Um, this bandit is confusing. I think he, I think he needs to stand still to actually be able to fight me, which is really funny. 
Okay. Uh, but so like back in the day, I could just cover anything and, you know, maybe I'd only be up against like one or two other YouTubers. But nowadays it's like there's a let's play for every single uh, there's like 10 different let's plays for every single game and you can kind of pick and choose your favorites, uh, which is fine. But it means to some degree I'm getting pushed out of the market just by merit of there being so many extra people. Uh, can I like go down to the ground anywhere? Oh, yeah, it looks like I can just mine. I should probably do like a, a bit of a staggered path here. Yeah, none of this is like really anything terribly unusual. Lots of industries change over the years, but so for me, spending time on a game to completion almost always ends up just leading me to uh, uh, feeling stuck and, you know, watching the views drop. And so I've kind of been switching over to more of a uh, impressions and like roguelikes style of content. I'll absolutely go out of my way to uh, to try out as many things as I can. And if there's a game that I really, really like, I'll s sit down and, like, put a lot m more time into it. But fact of the matter is, I just can't. You know, uh, easiest example I could think of would be, like, uh, Square Enix this year is, I think, releasing, like, f six or seven different JRPGs. Which, as far as I know, is incredibly unusual. I think those glowy crystals don't actually... Don't actually give resources. I was mining them as though they did, but it looks like they're just lighting. I wonder if I can map travel out of here. I can. Okay, it's straight down or bust it is. It does not help that I'm three, uh, three tiles high. Uh, let's see, Square Enix still makes games? I was told, uh, I thought they sold everything to go into NFTs. No. I think their CEO was talking about the potential for NFTs, but I don't think they actually, uh, have engaged in that in the slightest, or if they did, it's for their mobile games only. Uh, but yeah, they just put out the HD re uh, remake of Live A Live. They've got, um, gosh, I know they have like a, a new tactics game coming out kind of soon and some other stuff. And I think their whole like NFT posturing might have been to make themselves look good to investors uh, so that, I don't know, maybe Sony will buy them too. That's my general assumption, but I could be wrong. But yeah, they got rid of... What did they get rid of? Crystal Dyn Dynamics? And... Uh, well, I know they got rid of the Hitman games like a while back. Uh, let them go independent. And frankly, like, I'm super fine with that. Whoa. This is why I want this spear. Okay. Because, yeah, I can straight up do... Drive-by axings. And it does actually do, like, a decent chunk of damage to these guys. I just want the reach. Okay, do we have any other kobolds hiding around here? No, we have giant rats, though. Now, I, uh, I think Square Enix has been actually more productive in the last couple years than they were for, like, quite a while. Uh, their current output levels remind me of, like, Square Enix from the PS2 days. Uh, they don't put out that many Final Fantasies, I think is the one thing. You know, everybody knows about, uh, Square Enix for Final Fantasy. Um, but they've actually been branching out pretty hard. Uh, again. I think they were also just in dire straits in the 2000s after the whole, um, Spirits Within debacle. And then dire straits again for at least a little bit. 
after the pseudo disastrous launch of Final Fantasy fourteen. Of course, now it's in a fantastic spot, so. I think we need a year without game releases or just updates towards existing ones. Uh or work uh or work towards upcoming games. I Games industry would never let that happen. What I personally am just in favor of is just games that are shorter. Um, I, I've been playing um, the uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes just kind of on my own as like a for fun thing. And I'm like 35 hours in and just wildly bored. I'm just sticking out, sticking it out because I want to get to the ending. And I'm, I'm only like almost done with the first of the three different routes and there's like tons of characters that I just have not done support conversations with and like a bunch of other things and it's hard for me to say like I'm having fun anymore because it, it feels like the game was bloated hard so it would have enough content to justify you know a 60 70 dollar price tag um you know I can't begrudge the developers for that but I really wish there were some games that just had the like hey speed up the fluff like hard First route took me 80 hours, was loving it. Put your third route on hold. Maybe it's just me, but uh, I'm so spoiled for choice on games that it's super difficult for me to want to put like 80 hours into anything unless it's constantly giving me fresh and new content to, uh, to get into and get excited with. Whereas like... I'm so busted over powered in three houses that, uh, or three houses, three hopes. Um, that, like, I just walk up to everything and it dies because I've pointed myself in that direction. And, like, I am a Muso fan. I, I love the, the genre. It's just one of those where, uh, let's see, I think we just need a bunch of pine planks. Ooh, that's a bunch. And then I'm just going to make as many pine platforms as I can. Okay. Pine platforms. Put as number two. Because we got this here. And then back to tool usage. Okay, there we go. I understand how this works now. So this should give me the resources I need, maybe, so I can complete that quest. I might need a little bit, little bit more copper. They're looking forward to Call to the Lamb. I am too. I say with it installed on my computer. Uh, Devolver has sent out press copies, but it's embargoed till the 4th. So, uh, keep an eye out for the 4th, uh, 4th of August to come around. That's when Cult of the Lamb is going to be uh, prominent on my channel and, like, everybody else's for a while. But yeah, I like the Musou games, but I, I I still find them to be kind of long. That the core gameplay loop is really fun, and they've done a really good job at making them, like, fresh and interesting. But at the same time, uh, I think they capitalize maybe a little bit too much on their fan base loving the series and uh, have made just the most egregiously uh, bloated projects. I really like the EXP scrolls. That bit's kind of neat as a, as a reward mechanism for exploring. Oh, did I level up? Rad. Okay. I see. I have to move it from the skills window. Well, I think they absolutely just destroyed my own giant rat, but that's okay because I can keep summoning them. There we go. Yeah, honestly having friend rat is perfect. Yep. Alright, we're good. 
you could totally do a Muso inspired bullet heaven. Surprised there hasn't been one yet. That would be sick. I would actually be very, very cool with something like that. I think I'd have a lot of, uh, let's see. I think I'd have a lot of fun with something like that. We go up here. Kind of. The main thing is I'm, I'm looking for a copper. Okay. Just summon another rat. There we go. Yeah, honestly, the summons in this are are carrying pretty damn hard. Okay. Oh, is that? I guess I should probably grab the tin ore here. Okay, we're looking for copper ore. Oh no, these are chunks of salt. Might be worth something, but not what I'm looking for. Okay. The beauty part about summoning rats here is my mana regen is just fast enough to let me summon as many rats as I more or less need in combat. And they distract the enemy for a while. Okay, that's definitely some copper ore. I don't know how much I need for the tools, but I figure ending up with a, a decent supply is smart. Let's see, lesser mining elixir. Oh, that's kind of fun. Scroll of farming. Oh, right. We also have a monk outfit, which is definitely better than the gown. Let's see, training sword, which is better than my stone axe. Powerful Essence. I don't know how to combine these. Shoot. Because, yeah, that's actually a talent talent point right in, uh, in and of itself. Okay, I am thirsty. Where is water? There is water. All right. Did I loot both of these? Oh. You can actually bury corpses to get rid of them. That's That's actually really nice. I like that. Okay, let's go down a little further. And then I'm probably going to warp out of here and then warp back. Whoa. Found a Morlock. Troglodyte. Okay, can't get another one. There it goes. That's how you loot them. Okay, do we see anything else of any immediate interest or value in here? Or do we just bail and go chop some trees real quick? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna warp back to Woodbury real quick. Uh, it's very bright after being in the mine, damn. All right, we're actually gonna go back to where we've been. And I'm gonna go just chop trees until we have enough wood. I guess I should bury this body. There we go. At least that doesn't take any time. All right. There we go. So overall, I'm actually really enjoying this. It feels a little bit more uh, focused than Terraria. Eh, maybe. I. Terraria kind of scales wild. You wander around until you find like a magic boomerang or some other kind of decent equipment. And then you immediately switch to just kind of chaining boss slaying and turbo mining forever. This feels a bit more grounded. Maybe slow paced compared to what some people might be looking for. Uh, but from my perspective, I do appreciate the feeling of, of being kind of this weak little RPG man. I compared it to like Tales of Machial, but I think it's also important to compare it to like Gothic or like I also said, I guess Ultima and maybe a couple other things. You know, the, the small-scale RPGs where you really have to earn your way to power. And... Honestly, I'm actually also just surprised that there haven't been more Terraria-style games in this vein. Um, 
that for the most part, uh, you know, for the most part, games like Terraria are hugely popular, and there there sure are a lot of them. But almost n none of them ever actually like resulted in a finished product. Like I can I can think of a game called like was it called The Edge of Space or something? That was absolutely just uh absolutely just like abandoned and never finished and was like really bad. So you're saying you like the grind. I'm not sure if I like the grind necessarily, but uh Oh yeah, Outward. Outward is a great comparison. But it's kind of one of those where some games make you feel like you've you've really worked your way up, and other games immediately just throw out Cthulhu's eye as the first boss. Um, and so as somebody that grew up with stuff like Baldur's Gate, I really like the whole zero to hero feel. Uh, even if like nowadays I don't have the time for it, uh, it's a different vibe, and one that I actually rather appreciate comparatively. I'd play more of this one. Uh, so, uh, I'll also say, uh, this is in 1.0. Oh, you know what? If this is multiplayer, I should go double check that. I actually don't know if it does. Um, but if this, if this had multiplayer, I think I'd be even more gung-ho. Because the idea of going out on, like, an adventure with friends and, like, raiding dungeons and stuff, uh, is, like, really neat. Let's see, you like dig or die. I was okay with Dig or Die. I think it was a good small-scale Terraria alternative, but it got kind of repetitive for me. Okay, so we're good. I'm just gonna go back to the to Woodbury for the time being. There's still two more secrets I haven't found. Wow. All right. Anyway, uh, with all that said, uh, Realms of Magic is available on Steam in 1.0. I know somebody was saying they keep an eye on it, but as far as I know, this game is completely done done. Uh, I think they're doing a couple of patches, but I don't know if they're doing much for post-game support, at the very least. Uh, it's, what, 20 bucks down to 14 I think it's a reasonable price. I think if I were to play this again, uh, I'd probably not be a dwarf. Uh, I love dwarves, but they're just kind of okay here. I think I'd pick something, something uh, maybe a little bit more magic-focused. I hate to say it, possibly just a human character. Uh... Because the idea of, of rolling human uh, just always feels like a cop-out to me. But on the flip side... There we go. On the flip side, the extra stamina and magic regen sounds like it would be pretty good. Or it'd drop off very quickly and not be necessary, but still. So, uh, with all this, let's move on to the next.